have a friend he is uh, visiting uh, he's now in makkah with his family mm-hmm. and uh, he just asked me whether his wife who is in menses can uh, do umrah but uh, flatly i told him no no way she can perform umrah or even enter the two holy mosque makkah and madina mm-hmm. so i just want to clarify what i said was right may i ask you talib a question you said that yeah. they are visiting how long are they staying actually they are going to be in makkah only until tomorrow okay. and they'll be going to madina and they'll come back to jeddah and again they have uh, one option to perform umrah on monday i hope by that time she'll be clear okay i'm glad you uh, you shared with me this very informative answer a woman during her menses is not allowed to pray nor fast nor enter in a masjid or hold the quran with bare hands or perform tawaf and obviously no intimate relationship i'm talking about the actual in our course only if i'm staying if the sister is staying in mecca for a limited period of time and they have to fly out of the country they have tickets they're going back to the states flying to the uk going back to india tomorrow or day after tomorrow and the period is still having maybe uh, four or five days in this case bismillah perform ghusl and then wudu and go to the haram perform your tawaf and sa'i and do tahallul that's an exception according to shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah may allah have mercy on him but mashallah they're staying longer they're going to medina and then they will be going back to jeddah so that's a matter of a few days we also look into the possibility of how many days expecting the period to last for how many days oh by the time i'll be in medina it will be over in this case go to medina you're still in ihram though enjoy your stay in medina but you don't enter al masjid al nabawi or any masjid you don't pray and then you and your spouse whenever you're going to jeddah if you're going by the train mashallah the train can take you all the way to mecca perform umrah schedule your umrah perform umrah it's an hour and a half at maximum and then go back to Jeddah only if you're traveling out of the country and you don't have a way to change the itinerary then perform a ghusl and enter the haram and perform tawaf no prayers you do tawaf and you do sa'i then you leave but if you have the leisure of staying longer then you should stay until the period is over and perform ghusl after tahara in order to perform tawaf. A tawaf is like salah. It requires what the salah requires of the tahara. 